For those of you that aren't old subscribers, that aren't familiar with the place that I call Wolford, Wolford is a fictional nation I kind of made. Uh, it's origin story we're not going to get back into right now. Um, if a lot of people want to know that, I'll go into depth with it. But for now, uh, Wolford is a fictional nation. Its original name was the Republic. But uh, democracy is hard. Uh, that's all I have to say. Um, it quickly fell apart. The democracy part. I mean, the nation did pretty okay with the amount of revolutions that happened. And I somehow still managed to be the head of the government during the Republic phase and Wolf I don't think I ever lost head of government. That's terrifying. Anyways, um, Wolf Ward is a fictional nation I, uh, that believes in democratic and capitalist views. And what that basically means is that I want to vote for a leader and I want a market, right? So like if you built a farm, you shouldn't have to just be like, oh, well, you live in the same town as me, so I'll just give it out for you to free. No, you better charge them. You better charge them. I also want to make patents, right? So, like, only one person. Like, if you made a potato farm first, someone can't just grab a potato and make another potato farm. Because then what was the point of you making your potato farm? There's no money. Money. Anyways, fictional nation. Uh, glorious nation, totally. Um... So, we're building it. We've always built it. Uh, it's kind of a thing. It's always built around a potato farm. It's always used iron as the main exchange of currency. It's always elected a leader. It's, a, it's my fictional nation. I've always been head of it so far. I think I almost lost head to one person. It was a very close vote. And they lost and they burnt down the tree farm. It was a sad day. I'm in the movie. But yeah, yeah. Uh, William Shakespeare's video. Romeo and Juliet. Why does it say I'm streaming Feather? Give me, give me the info. All right. So you know, you know Hans. Yeah. Uh, or right, whatever his name is. Uh, oh, yeah, Ryzen, Hans. Like nine five six, whatever that guy is. You mean Reese? That's Reese. I, I can't tell the difference. But yeah, I do know Reese. Alright, so it sounds like Fruit Cat wants your base cords. Fruit Cat wants. And Reese is trying base? to get them from me. One second. So I was thinking, mm -hmm. what if I. Oh. Anyways, I'm still gonna give it to Reese since he's not in here anymore. Uh, we gotta play all sides, man. <laughs> cruel, cruel world. It's a cruel world we live in. It's a cruel world we live in. Give him the chords. In Your fact, Captain. Yeah, yeah, Captain. I, I got, I got a request for you. Here's a, uh, here's a much better idea. Delete my cores entirely, so you don't know them anymore. I Unless you see. have them memorized, you can't tell them. I, I have them memorized. You have him. You have them memorized. Yeah. You said? But uh, what I was trying to say is, what if I send them the village cords, and your team can like jump him? I'm gonna have my team real quick. You see, this way, if either side kind of, like, it fails, I, like, I get something at in return, hopefully. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to get something from him. That, that my team has come to the consensus of you should not give them any cords at all. Hmm. All right. On top of that, uh, Fruitcat's also trying to figure out my cords, so I'm not I'm not doing too well over here. Okay. Oh shit, bro. I'm gonna ask my if I'm gonna ask if y'all if you wanna live at our base. I'm gonna ask my teammates if 
if they trust you, okay? <laughs> I don't. Th I'm not gonna move right now. That's a terrible idea. Yeah. I've also yeah, already I... built a bunch of walls. And... Yeah, true, true, true. J just hide your base. That's all you gotta do. Anyway, I'm gonna go back to my team's VC. Just hide your base. I don't want you to. Die. Uh, wait, 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 wait. So, um, what? all right. I I know we're we're friends and all, right, right, right. Yeah. But uh, they they offered me the speed sword if I give them cords. Are you serious right now, bro? Are you I didn't give them the that? cords. I have not given them the cords yet. But you gotta admit, it's an enticing offer. You know what's even more of an enticing offer? I mean, you can't really touch me. No one knows where I live. You know what's even more of an enticing offer? What? The fact that I'm I'm trying to grind for my whole team some netherite armor and I could grab you some too. Do you? Well, I had netherite armor until when your freaking teammates killed me. I know, I'm, I know, but you only had a helmet. I I am suggesting I give you a full set of max enchanted netherite armor that's trimmed. For you to not talk of, talk with Ruka and Reese about it. The cords? To not talk about them with cords. Yeah, to not talk about the cords. Also, they're not gonna give you the speed tour. You know that, right? Ah, uh, you know, I know. No, no, no. You don't. You don't understand. Ruka and Reese are little liars. They have offered to give me things before that they've never done. Then they instead killed me. So don't give them your base cords, don't give them my base cords, it's just gonna be death for both of us. The whole server- the whole server will be fallen from them if you give either- if- I'm not uh, gonna give them my, my base, base cords, that- that's suicide. I'm not that Yeah, dumb. but if you give my base cords, we have a total of five heirlooms in our base, collectively, between the three of us. Why so do this you isn't good. Uh, don't ask. Um, don't ask. Jaden has, like, an, a second there. Anyway. Oh, crap. Uh, the entire server will go down to Reese and Crew Cat, and they will end the entire SMP if you, if you give the course. Just know that, alright? Hmm. Okay. Can I trust you not to give the cords away? Ah, uh, you know. You know, I will, I will not, if you keep up your end of the deal, you know. Deal? The nether armor? Yeah. Okay, uh, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start working on that now. Alright. It's like I said, I have nothing to lose or gain from this. So... If if he gets me netherite armor, right? It it's it, you know it's free netherite armor. But if I can actually get the freaking speed sword, which is probably not gonna happen because it's the speed sword, um, because he won't give me the armor. You know it's it's his fault. You know. All right, now that we've established that, so engineer is currently trying to be their base cords is trying to be found out by Reese or Dan Fruitcat. They're trying to kill engineer. Engineer offered us uh, netherite armor, I enchanted. I'm assuming that's what he made it sound like. Uh, if we did not tell base cords, which you know, pretty good deal, pretty good deal. So I took it. Uh, if he does not give us that, we're gonna tell Reese base cords, obviously. Uh, we're gonna give him time because you don't get that kind of armor overnight, obviously. Um, he might move in that time, which might be a problem. But he also might not move because moving is like when you're moving. In the action of moving, it's much easier to be found. Uh, also, our base was found. Not great. Uh, that kind of sucked. Yeah. Okay, that too isn't. Yeah, but now there is. Oh sh! <laughs> yeah. What? Hey, man. Hey, I told Ollie to apply. Uh, Ollie Bubble. No. Ollie Magoonis. He's too busy working out. We <laughs> can talk about. I think uh, Furcat found my base. Um. 
How's he managed that then? I don't know. Blooming Pruka and Reese, they always have like some way of finding people's bases. I think they have a hack like better than worst or something. <laughs> I think they're trying to murder me. They better Blooming not be. I I'm going up because they sent a picture of one of my walls that I was working on. Oh. Like, I know the walls stick out and all that, but like, still, it's like, it's halfway between the middle of no like in like the middle of nowhere where freaking engineer lives and spawn yeah i did tell Oli mcginnis to make an application so yeah fruit cat who's on a team with a reese and callum i believe uh found our base not not great yeah um you know we got robbed 40 diamonds went missing. They didn't take the netherite. We had netherite in our chest. And they took the 40 diamonds. Didn't touch the netherite scraps. Netherite scraps, I, uh, mind you. Uh, he gave me stuff, is the hilarious part, because he gave me a chest plate, and he gave me a single piece of agent debris and 16 enderpearls, and 40 diamonds is missing. So I'm assuming it was fruit cat since I, and Re or Reese. Since those are the only two who knows about my base courts. Uh, with this, I made a public announcement in the chat saying that anyone found inside Wolford Walls will be murdered. Because we have to defend our borders at this point. If people, you know, are stealing from us and people are just wandering into our base, you know, who do we know is stealing from us? Now, I don't think we'll actually be able to murder anyone. But, you know, if we get murdered defending our lands... I think we'll be fine since most of the server seems to back me. 